Take, for example, say a, a woman born in Berlin, in Germany, around 1900, and living to the ripe old age of 100, uh, dying in the year 2000. This woman lived her childhood under the Second Reich of the Hohenzollern dynasty uh, until she was 18 and then erupted uh, the German Revolution due to the German defeat in the First World War and the woman found herself for the next 15 years or so living in, the Repub in a republic, the Weimar Republic and the stories told about power and politics and relations between, between people were now different stories and people behaved differently. Then came 1933 and the Nazi revolution and a bunch of new stories rose to power. People again changed the way, changed the, the stories which they told, uh, which they told about what, what people are and what society is and how we should behave and what is good and what is bad. All these stories changed. For the next 12 years, people in Berlin lived, believed and lived according to the Nazi uh, story. And then came 1945. With the, Rus with the defeat in the Second World War and the Russians are coming and a new regime is established, communist East Germany. And this woman now finds herself under the fourth type of regime in a completely different social, political and economic system ruled by different stories. And this continued for about 40 years until came 1989 with the fall of the communist bloc and then the reunification of Germany. And this woman found herself for the fifth time under a different uh, uh, human, in a different human society. This time it's democratic, liberal, united, reunited Germany. And she spent the last decade of her life as a citizen of a liberal, democratic, reunified Germany. So this woman, during her lifetime, managed to be a part of of five very different uh, social, economic and political systems, even though she had exactly the same DNA from beginning to end. What changed was only the stories which people around her told and which she, or at least they, uh, believed.